Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of blend colors inside of a text. And I thought it would be pretty cool to have purple on the top and bottom and kind of have your blue in the middle. And also, Mike, I didn't even think about it. You could change the outline color to purple, uh, which would maybe print or not have any outline. So there is a particular preference. So let's do a blend, a double blend. At first, a lot of, I didn't think it could be done. I'm going to draw a perfect straight line. I'm going to convert it to one and a half points. And once again, I'm going to use his colors, but I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to move that down about halfway of the amount of the uh, blend, or the text would be. So that is like half of an inch. So we need, we just kind of compare it. We would need to make it quite a bit bigger to make it look like the letter. I'm going to put L on the keyboard and put them all equal. Now I'm going to make another duplicate of the center line. Control D. And I'm going to move it up just a hair. I'm going to move my nudge factor way low, 0 0.001. And I'm going to nudge this guy back to where it's touching the other one. And I'm going to hit L again on the keyboard to get them all aligned. Now I'm going to, I'm going to use his color again. So I'm going to get the color eyedropper. And I'm going to color in that one top one. I'm going to color in that bottom one. Whoop. Somehow I got back to blue. Get the eyedropper tool. And if you ever have anything like that, just go to your pick tool if something happens. So let's go back to the eyedropper tool and grab that blue and make that bottom one blue. Easier said than done. Let me zoom in a little bit. We can actually do it from this line. Color eyedropper tool, blue, blue. Now we're going to get this purple. So I'm going to get my pick tool. So it kind of erases the color. And there's, there's my purple. And I'm going to fill that in with purple. And fill that in with purple. Now because the blend won't blend three items. So let's zoom in here. Let's go to Effects, Blend, and let's select the top one, holding down the Shift key and select the top blue, and run this to about 200. The reason you want that large a number so you won't have any spaces, if we just did 20, you might have some lines between there if you look really close. And I know for a fact that he's printing this. So let's go to 200. Hit apply. Now you're actually done and you could flip that around, but I've already done it this way. Then shift and grab the bottom one. And let's go to 200 and hit apply. Now you could change your, just like we did in the previous video, you could get to this blend tool and you could have a little more blue in the center. Let's make it a little bit more purple. Click on that one and do the same thing. Now, to make this work, you need to group this together. Control G or group. And now you would want to make several copies because once you put it in there, you can't change it. So I'd make another copy for every letter. And as we did before, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do what we did before. I'm going to make this thing large enough to handle all these letters. Let's see if it doesn't fit. We may make it a little bit wider. And then go up to Arrange, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame. And there you go. That's a pretty cool blend. Now we do have a white line down the middle, which I don't like. So let's back up here. back up quite a bit 
and let's ungroup this. And then let's move this one just minutely up to make sure that white lines are gone. And then make maybe make them all the same. Go up to arrange group. Go to arrange power clip place inside frame. There you go. Just kind of look at it, make sure you don't have that white line. But that would be a pretty cool blend effect. He's trying to duplicate something like this. And that was done in the same realm from this green to the blue. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.